anti-nuclear <laughs> lunacy along with its secretive nature-positive plan, which we exposed on this show here. Nationals MP David Gillespie joins us here in the studio. David, great to have you here with us on Outsiders, as always. Um, My pleasure. We've, we've heard, heard all sorts of nonsense from Labor about nuclear. Now, why is nuclear so important, in your opinion, and certainly is in my opinion, but why is it so important, in your opinion, now for Australia going forward? Because we're shutting down, we're making our uh, baseload energy system unviable economically uh, through the national electricity market, which is not a market anymore. It's just a complex set of uh, regulations, rules, mandates uh, and subsidies that make uh, coal power stations unviable. That's mm. why people are closing them down early, because they can make money out of the subsidy go around. Now, if we're going to replace them, well and good, but this myth that we can do it with multiple renewables that are overbuilt, totally unreliable, they're never there when you want them, we have too much at the moment in the middle of the day, is just a crazy concept. No one in the world is trying to do what we are doing. That's why we need nuclear, because it is a proven technology, it's clean, and in the places that deploy it at scale, they have the cheapest electricity. And if the green machine thinks that uh, the carbon footprint is the most important thing for an energy system, nuclear wins by a country mile. <laughs> and the rest of the world's worked that out, except this weird little country on the bottom of the earth uh, has an energy system that no one else is trying to do. They started in Germany, they started in other places in Europe, in America, in Texas, everywhere. They've all worked out the same thing. It just doesn't work. It's OK to have renewables as part of your mix, but you can't make it the essence of the system. That's why we need it now, and we'll get um, the very best technology that the world has got is available for us if we remove these ridiculous prohibitions.